My first job as a social worker was in Harlem in New York City mm -hmm. uh, right after we were married and um, 60 families, two sides of one block and the, the job description as I understood it was go out and recertify their um, uh, public assistance eligibility and in your spare time help them. That was it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so uh, my work in New York City was, uh, I really got into it and I, I really truly wanted to do something um, that people wanted to do and needed to do. Um, as I look back on it, I gave a lot of false hope mm -hmm. because the, the conditions were such that there wasn't anything that could mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. But um, The limits and risks of optimism. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, um, and yet it's that same optimism, it would seem, that probably has served you terribly well mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. many of your mediations of right. being yeah. able to encourage people to consider doing something. That's right. That's right. That otherwise, they would never have thought possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. My mother always had sayings. Did your mom have sayings? Probably. <laughs> probably, but I didn't listen enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, the can't never yeah. did anything was the one that always stayed with me, you know. If you say you can't, it'll never get done. Uh -huh. And so uh -huh. you have to uh -huh. go to uh -huh. the other and you have to say, mm -hmm. well, I'll try it. Well, I'll do it. Okay. And so I, and I think that probably mm -hmm. has been one of my yeah. underlying driving forces. 